What's up YouTube, it's me again, your friendly neighborhood fish keeper, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about my vase aquarium. Um, it's one of my favorite aquariums that I've ever built so far. It was modeled after the uh, ecospheres that I've seen a lot of people make, um, and also modeled after this picture of a vase aquarium that I saw on Pinterest actually. I think it turned out really nicely and I think it has a lot of potential to grow out and grow in even more. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So the build started one day. Uh, I kind of impulsively decided, okay, I'm gonna make this. So I went to Michael's, I picked up a vase, a cylinder vase, about four gallons, and I'll put the specs uh, in the video here. Um, and I picked it up, brought it home, filled it with some sand, some white aquarium sand, and then some play sand, a, a mixture, a combination. I put um, a root tab in there, an API root tab. I'll show this in the video as well. And then I got to planting. Um, so I actually made this kind of in a reverse order. I put the plants in, then I put the equipment on, then I added the wood, and then um, I added the fish. So uh, the plants are some cryptocorin, some uh, tiger lotus, some red tiger lotus, uh, some kabomba in the background, some Rotala rotundifolia, and some Ludrigia repens. Oh, and some Anubis. I have a ton of Anubis all throughout this build and some Java moss toward the top. And then the uh, terrestrial plants, the immersed plants, are a peace lily, a pothos, or a pothos, I've heard a lot of people call them. And then I have some vines, some, uh, some English ivy trying to revive toward the top, but that's not an, a permanent fixture of this build. Um, so yeah, I have a root tab in to feed the plants. I have some wood as some, some major structural elements in the middle, and it's leaching a lot of tannins, which is why the water looks pretty brown right now. Um, for livestock, I have three, um, three nearite snails. Um, I have about five cherry shrimp, two amano shrimp, a ghost shrimp, and then three mosquito rasboras. I insta-cycled with um, this fluval cycle here, um, concentrated biological booster. It has really saved me a lot of time and it works wonders. Um, and so, yeah, if you're worried, if you're curious about any uh, daily maintenance, all I do every day is I feed the fish. Um, I've been feeding them baby brine shrimp and then adult brine shrimp, which somehow the mosquito respirators are big enough to take. Um, and then I've been trying to get them on a micro pellets, but the mosquito respirators are just too small to eat them, which is so funny. They're so cute. They're such lively little fish. I'll put some clips in. I mean, they are just, I didn't know if I could find fish small enough for this tank, but I feel like they fit, they fit really well. Um, they make it look absolutely amazing as lighting. Um, I'll, I'll include the link to the lighting in the video description, but I have some grow lights from Amazon. And then as my filtration, I have a five gallon rated filter from Amazon. And then I also have part of uh, an Aquion or a Tetra Whisper filter. Um, I have part of that filter. Uh, I'll show you in the video and I'll kind of try to circle it in the video as well. It's kind of complicated. It's kind of janky, kind of you know, tossed together, but I really like it. I think that one of them, one of the filters works to circle, circulate water um, around the tank and the other filter works to pull water up from the bottom of the aquarium and specifically to make sure that the water around the roots uh, of the plant stays fresh. What's cool about these systems is that the immersed plants, the plants that are growing out of the water, run their roots into the aquariums take up nutrients from those aquariums and clean the aquariums while the aquariums feed the plants. It really is this really cool system that plays on the nitrogen cycle, which I'm sure I'll explain one day in a video, but basically fish produce waste. That waste gets broken down into food for the plants. If that food for the plant stayed in the water, it would make the fish sick. They would, it's toxic to the fish, um, but it's food for the plants. So the plants take it out help the fish and the fish help the plants by feeding the plants and it's this beautiful system and that's another benefit of aquatic plants but terrestrial plants plants that have access to the air are much better at it they're much faster at it so i'm super excited about that and then finally i used hooks 
and suction cups to hold everything together and to keep my pothos and my uh, my um, peace lily up above the water. So everything is held together by suction cups and hooks. Um, I think everything turned out again really, really, really nicely. If you ever want to make something like this, please just in the comments let me know. Um, let me know if you ever thought about making something like this, or if you think this is cool. If you think this is super lame, um, and you never want to see anything like it again. Yeah, um, I'm sorry I didn't record the the building process, but I hope to record the next building process. I don't think this is going to be my last kind of desktop aquarium. Um, I'm super excited. I want to build an actual ecosphere, um, a bowl aquarium that just has a pump, no filter, full of aquatic plants and full of fish. So stay tuned and I'll make one of those one day. Anyway, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Um, tank on. Thanks for watching and take care, guys.